by popular demand or comments from a recent video, I'm going to do a layout update. So here we go. I'm Tom Kovichak, and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And so this model railroad back here and over there has very little uh, updates in the last uh, couple of months. So I'm just going to show you what I've done so far. So let's get started with this. And the biggest thing that you could see right here is I took down all the uh backdrops they were the uh, uh pre um, they were the manufactured backdrops some from walters and from some from a, another brand uh, i can't remember the name of them i think they went out of business where they quit selling them or one one or the other but anyway uh that's the biggest thing that happened i'm going to show you some uh some clips of uh, my scenery here and there, and then I'm going to take you on a little tour of it. And then we're going to talk a little bit about YouTube and something else is coming up in the near future. Or it's already here. Sorry about that. It's already here, but it's in the near future for me. These first couple of clips that I'm showing you is from my access door. I don't know if you could see it right back here, right there. Okay, I have that off right now. It normally goes right back in, in this area right here. And I took that off to uh, work on it. And uh, I have the buildings on there loose. Some of them are loose. These are over here. These are the DPM buildings. Those are still attached pretty good, but the ones in the back are loose. And those are the ones that I have to work on. So that's the first couple of clips. And then I'll show you some of the other clips of uh, around the railroad. I got the big old empty section back there. As soon as I get done with this, um, this access panel here, they're both going back. And I'm going to move forward and work on my waterfront which you can't see right here, but I'll show you a little clip from it. That'll be the next clip after the uh, access door clips. So, enjoy. This is the access door that I took off. It's the left-hand side one. As you can see on the left, there are DPM kits that were built about 20 years ago. The ones on the right are some newer ones. Um, I just have them setting up on top of the sidewalk right now because I'm going to be taking them off and doing some uh, tweaking on it. On this one here, this is just a, the back side of it, the same building. Uh, these are the old DPM kits. And on the front of it is where I use the felt for the uh, base for my scenery. And in the background, you can see it's a Walters kit. It's the this, uh, five buildings on a street. I use the, the uh, sidewalk that comes with that. This is some of the scenery that I've done. And here's uh, my water feature here. This is what I'm going to add on to. I cut part of it off. And uh, these are uh, scratch-built uh, trestles right here. I made uh, three of them, and I have another one in the back. And this is a scratch-built uh, tunnel portal that I made, actually two of them. And I built another one that I'm going to be putting further back on the on the track that you could see in the front and this is some of my scenery work here and this is a, an old uh, casting and the uh, bridge abutment is uh, I think Chukch Enterprise and uh, here is uh, the main street of Smedleyville and I'm gonna have a track going across there and this part right here is a little lift out section and I have felt on the edge of that also as a scenery base and uh, I, this is so I could have access to the tracks underneath and the uh, tortoise switch machines that I have uh, underneath there also. I'm showing you some of the finished parts alongside the parts that need to be worked on. Here's some wood kits that I did uh, oh, a couple of years ago. And, and that old uh, billboard is a, a Woodland Scenics one that I did maybe 30 years ago. I still have it. I just wanted to make sure that I had I put it back together because it was falling apart. That stone wall is a uh, flexible sticky back uh, sheet that uh, you could apply to anything. And uh, all this, uh, this pile of rubble is uh, ballast that I removed from tracks that I uh, removed from the layout uh, last year sometime.
and the flat is a uh, I think that's an old Walther's kit that I just used it as flat and these are bar mills uh, model kits right here uh, I have a, a line of them and then the far one way at the end is a Foscale model you can just barely see the end of it when you when you get down to it that's the hardware store and then the last one is the the Foscale model this retaining wall is a Woodland Scenics uh, retaining wall and also the tunnel portal is and then I had to cut some extra pieces and scribe them on both sides uh, for on the end uh, I don't think you could see it in this shot right here and this is the open area where I have the access doors and those are going to go back in place once I get uh, the uh, last access door finished and I still have to do something about a new uh, background since I took the old uh, backdrop out of there. Now this is the uh, one that I worked on earlier and uh, you've seen the videos on this I hope and I'll put a link to the videos up in the little eye up on the right hand corner so you could see it again. Well that's not very much. If you have any questions about model railroading or YouTube, how to set up something in YouTube or even how to improve on your channel in YouTube, Give me a comment down below in the comments section, or you could also go to my web page and there's a form that you could fill out. You could ask a question there. It'll go directly to my email and I'll contact you back in the email. So either way you could do it in the comments section or from my web page on, on the uh, contact, contact me, I think it's called contact uh, page. There's a little form you could fill out and It'll send it directly to my email and I'll answer to you. If I don't know the answer, I'll get somebody who does. Just ask Sparky. Uh, he was asking about when he first got his camera. I put him in contact with a professional uh, photographer and videographer and he answered him right away. So if I don't know the answer, I'll get somebody who does. So go ahead, leave the comment down there or go to my webpage and leave a comment on there and it'll go directly to my email and I'll email you back as soon as I can. So thank you. Let's talk a little bit about live streaming on YouTube. They've had live videos since 2011. On February 7th of this year, YouTube started live streaming for creators who had a subscriber count above 10,000. And just this past week on March 21st, they announced that if you have 1,000 subscribers on your channel, you'll be able to live stream on your cell phone that thing over there. I am about 150 subscribers away from that point. I got, well, when I'm taping this right now, I have 849 subscribers. So 151 away. So I need you to get me up that extra 150 subscribers so I can get up to a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You know why? It's free. And why is it free? Because it doesn't cost you anything on YouTube. And I want to get up to that 1000 mark. So get me there. I know a lot of you are not subscribed. So hit that subscribe button and get me up to that 1000 mark. So I could use, well, it's not going to be that one. That's an old phone right there. But I could do some live streaming. We have something new here. Transaction revenue. Anytime you see something new on your Creator Studio, I'm not, and I'm not talking about what's new here, what's labeled new. Actually, these two aren't new. They've been there for a while. They just never took the labels off. But this transaction revenue and where's the other one? Live streaming. Okay, when you see something like that in your Creator Studio, you know that YouTube is pushing that really hard. So, that's just a tip right there. Transaction revenue and live streaming. They're starting to push live streaming really bad since they came out with the Super Chat. And that's where when you're on your stream, on your live stream, on the right hand side, 
where the uh, the comments are somebody could donate money while you're chatting and that puts their message up on the top and it keeps it there depending on how much they uh, contribute say like if they contribute a dollar it's gonna it's gonna stay up there for a little while not very long but if they contribute five dollars it's gonna stay up there a little bit longer if they contribute ten dollars even longer than that twenty dollars I think they can go up to fifty dollars I seen somebody the other day contribute fifty dollars on a live stream and it stayed up there uh, quite a long time but if you have something to say when somebody's doing a live stream the more money you give the longer your your comment is going to be pinned to the top of the of the uh, the comments bar in the live stream so that's just a little food for thought there okay so keep an eye on live streaming because uh, YouTube is pushing that really hard right now so that's just my little tip for the day and also let me see translations I mean, that's been up there for a while, and end screens have been up there for a while. Annotations are going to be gone on May the 2nd. I already told you about that. So uh, you'll, the only thing you'll be able to do is delete your annotations. You won't be able to add any more, and you won't be able to edit the annotations that you have already. All you'll be able to do is delete them. So keep your eye out for that. And right now I'm up to 850. So I got 150 to go. Leave some comments down there. I like to read your comments and I answer all your comments. And give me a thumbs up. Share the video. I'll put a link to the share down there. I've got all my links to my playlist down there also. So click on those and watch my other videos. And visit my website, TomsTrainsAndThings.com. Okay, I'm going to be putting in some uh, new uh, pictures Pretty soon, don't have them yet, but I'm going to be putting them on there maybe this weekend or the first of uh, this coming week. So take a look and check that out. Also, PayPal me. It costs money to do these videos here. And I'm retired. I'm on Social Security. I'm not making very much money. So, donate. Support this channel. So I could do more things on it. You wonder why I don't have anything on, on my update. is because I don't have any money to do it. That's why. So there. All right. Now. A little subscribe thing here. A little video thing here. Another one over here. Yeah. And right, right here. Okay. And we'll see you.